。哈利路亚。Brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today we are on Numbers chapter sixteen. It's a long chapter. It's um we can put it as a one event, a betrayal, and the extension of it, the after effect of it. Verse one to forty recorded this event, this betrayal. And then the verse forty-one to fifty recorded this the after effects of this event. In the past, when I read this chapter, you know, I I learned that we do not rebel against our leader, do not grumble, do not complain. That's the lesson I learned before. Do not try to take over authority, because it's like they want to take more upon them. The attack they lashes on Ma,、uh, Moses and Aaron that you know they took too much on themselves upon themselves. That's usually more more often. That's how we fix our focus, and we can see the rebellious nature in us. And our sinful nature. That's why they died in the wilderness. Chapter sixteen is a serious, is a serious sin. Talk about the sins and the judgment on this sin. As we read on this way. This morning, God gave me a special light. Is、um, treat God with contempt. In chapter fourteen, fifteen, it has been repeatedly mentioned about treat God with contempt, mock God, especially during this day of pandemic. The the plague, a pestilence. So when I read these three chapters, when we despise God, actually will bring a very、uh, serious evil、uh, outcomes, bad outcomes. It talks about plague, especially here. So, and we face the pandemic throughout the whole world. How should we face it? What is our attitude? So, you know, when the plague、um, is、uh, is spreading, then we will try to get vaccines, don't we? And some anti、uh, pandemic, anti Precautionary measures. Some some country was decided to lock down in case to、uh, keep the social distance as well. So that's、um, necessary. That's required. But this plague, this virus, they mutate. It mutates. You know, it mutates a lot. That's why it's hard to have a vaccine for all. But the the vaccine you cannot keep up with the mutation of the virus. Is it going to be effective? We don't know. It takes a long at at least one year to actually come up with a new vaccine. So this COVID nineteen actually happened like、uh, October last year. And then in December, it just、uh, broke out throughout the whole earth. Now, up to this point, the vaccine is still not yet available, as we know.、Uh, now we are in、uh, September 2020. It started. It broke broke out like、um, 2019, the end of it. So almost like a year. But the vaccine is not available. And the news. I read the news yesterday. That maybe in November the vaccine will be ready in the states. That's a 
as something that a forecast in to happen in the state. We can see that it takes quite a bit of time, at least a year, for a vaccine to be available. But that the virus mutates before that, what will happen? Will the vaccine still be effective? So for men, for government, we basically using our reasoning, our expertise, our thoughts to prepare all the necessary measures to fight against the virus. Today, as I read on this chapter, I just ask God, Lord, may you open our eyes. so that the plague may be stopped. In God's way. In God's ways. By God's revelation, oh God, let me show us, reveal to us what we should do. The world takes its own measure go its own way, but it's limited. We know that. It's time-consuming. But God's way is instant, immediate effect. And why did plague happen? Why? That's the root cause we must find. I titled uh, number 16, uh, Numbers chapter 16, uh, is divided into two paragraphs, as we just mentioned. Verse 1 to 40 is described the whole event, incident. And the second paragraph is the after effects, the extension of the event, of the incident. The title, Do Not Reject the Lord. Verse 30, then you will understand that these men have rejected the Lord. The outcomes of rejecting the Lord is horrendous. In the past, when we read the rebellion brought by the Korah, trying to take on more, take on power, the weakness of men, they grumble, they complain, they try to take more authority, power. Yes, it's a deep root, yes. That's the root of bitterness. But the deeper one is the rejecting the Lord. So to us, uh, we are serving in church, we work in the marketplace, we must be reminded. If we bond together, we gang up together against the leader or whatever, we are rejecting the Lord. If you are attacking the, uh, the authority, if you speak against the authority, You speak again, speak it in a negative way, attacking the authority. Be very, very careful. The deepest root is you do not just exalt yourself. You puff up, you uh, despise, look down on your authority, criticize and judge your authority. You are rejecting God. We must be reminded. The first paragraph is divided into seven uh, subparagraphs. It's the long chapter. We cannot go verse by verse. I will outline the seven sub uh, paragraphs to you. Verse one to three talks about uh, talk about the rebellion, the rebellion, who 
rebelled. Now Korah, the son of Isa, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, with Davim, Abiram, the sons of Elab, and On, the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men. That's verse 1 of Numbers chapter 16. As well as 250 leaders of the congregations, together they rose up before Moses and Aaron. They gathered together to, they gathered against Moses and Aaron and said to them, You take too much upon yourselves, for all the congregation is holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Why then do you exalt yourselves about the assembly of the law? Verse 3. They rose up before Moses, gathered against Moses and Aaron, saying that, you know, you exalt yourself among, uh, about the assembly. You know, God is using you, but He is also among us. The Lord is also among us. Why can't you see that? You exalt yourself above the assembly of the Lord. Verse 3, why then do you exalt yourselves above the assembly of the Lord? You are one of the congregation members. Lord is among us. Everyone believes in God. Everyone follows God. Why do you exalt yourself above us? You take too much upon yourselves. You exalt yourself. You take too much uh, power. We must look at this. Who, are, who were these people mentioned here? Verse 1 to 3. Chapter 1, remember? The Feast of Tabernacle was uh, centered, was placed centered in the camp. The first uh, inner circle, that's the first here, that's uh, Levites and priests. And then the Moses and Aaron's on the east side, Moses and Aaron's descendant. On the south side, there's Kohathite. And then we have Ger Gersorite, Gerson, and then Mariah. These are the Levites. Levites camped on the east, south, west, and north. The priests uh, were on the east side facing the tabernacle, tent of meeting. And on the outer circle the, for, the, uh, for the people, the east side of the outer circle, east side of the, that's behind the priest, behind the priest, where Reuben, uh, Judah, 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 and another two uh, tribes. And on the south side, Reuben, Reuben. And on the uh, east side, uh, west, west, sorry, there's Ephraim. And on the north, there's Dan. So that's how the 12 tribes centered Align themselves the, with the tent of meeting. Align with the tent of meeting, align with God. And then they are supposed to align themselves with the authority, with the leaders, with the priests, and align with God. That's how they encamped with God as the center. But do not do not center around themselves. They follow the crowd of the cloud of God. That's how the formation of the whole team. When they march on in the wilderness, that's their formation. On our life journey, that's how we must form such team, aligned with the authority, aligned with God. So what happens here? Where is the gap? Where is the gap? Kohafai. Kohaf. On the south side. Kohaf. Korah, Korah, uh, the sons of um, Kohath. Korah, something wrong with him. In the Levi's family, he was um, the order he was after Gerson. 
But God chose him, Korah, to do some really good, seemingly very good work. He was in charge of the most holy, uh, the holy utensils in the tabernacle, in the tent of meeting. And Gershon was only moving the, the, the tent. And Mariah, Mariah was, mo was moving all the other utensils. They were they were in charge of the most holy utensils, like the golden lampstands, Korah, and the table of presents. That's how they were in charge of these. But now, they arose. They arose before Moses and uh, gather against, together against Moses and Aaron. Korah was the leader. He was the pre uh, the Levite, one of the most important one of the important Levites. Among all the Levites, he was most important. The position was second to the priest, Aaron. They were the second to Aaron and then his descendant. The the most important allowed me. Well, I, I, I would say that everything in the uh, tent of meeting was more important, but he was in charge of the most holy articles. So allow me to say that they were in charge of the most holy thing. They have very high importance. Among all the Levites, they were most important. But something wrong with him. They rose up and say that, oh, Moses and Aaron, you took too much upon yourself. He got the Reuben with them, Reuben's tribe, three sons of Reuben, Adatham, Abaran, and On. These are, they were the sons of Reuben. Reuben was the firstborn, remember that? So Korah was the leader the senior of the Levite, and then here, Reuben was the firstborn of the 12 tribes. But Reuben was not on the east side. It was Judah on the east side, the younger brother on the east side, and then the, the firstborn was on the south side. So the older, the younger brother took camp, sets out first. Judah was the leader among all the non-Levite, non-priests. These are the arrangements of God. That's how God decided the layout of the camp. You know, who who uh, will camp on which side all decided by God. And here comes the problem. When the most important of the Levi, Korah, rose up, Moses, Aaron, why do you take so much upon yourself? And he joined forces with Reuben, sons of Reuben, the firstborn of the Israel, and together with 250 leaders of the congregation, they join this. They they will be able to join the meeting. These uh, leaders together they gather together against Moses and Aaron. That's the first subparagraph of the first paragraph. And verse 4, so when Moses heard it, he fell on his face. Verse 4. Then he make a decision. Um, we come before God together and let God let God decide who he chooses, whether it's you or me. Does God choose Korah or does he choose uh, does God choose Aaron? Let God decide. Tomorrow you will see. Let God show us. We want to pay attention to verse 10, special attention to this. And Moses told the Korah, and that he has brought you near to him, you and all your brethren, the sons of Levi, with you. And are you seeking the priesthood also? Verse 10. You are not content being the Levite. Now you want to be a priest, you are seeking priesthood. But it's God choosing, it's God arrangement. 
You should be well, joyful and grateful that you、uh, you know you draw close to God. Then why are you discontent? That really reminds all our coworkers, all coworkers here. Do not envy people in other departments. Simo and I decide、uh, what you should do. It's not casual decision. We also seek God, and we decide on your、uh, your overall situation, the overall situation of the church of the coworker. At this moment in time, you、uh, will be working in this department doing this. You can do it. You can serve God. Why do you consider it as a small thing? Why is it a small thing to you? Why are you discontent? Why do you envy people in the next department? Why do you envy those who preach all around? Why? Or you know that person does less. I have to do a lot. Why do you compare with others? Everything is with God. Now you you should be grateful that you draw close. You can stand before God and you can like.、Uh, but you are seeking higher position, higher job. You are discontent with with what you have. Verse eleven. Therefore, you and all your company are gathered together against the Lord. You are you are gathered against the Lord, Korah. You are attacking God, not you. Are, and what is Aaron that you complain against him? Verse eleven. What is Aaron? Our coworkers in our branch churches, or our church co our church coworker. Or you are cell leader, or you are a cell member. You are a cell member if you are a cell member. Your cell leader wants you to do one thing. You have your role to play in the cell group. We have a role to play in the church. Is it a small thing to us? We are serving God. We are drawing close to God. We should be well happy. Whether you are working in the reception, or you are working in the usher team, or you are a cell leader, we must be thankful, grateful. Why do you demand higher position when you complain against the authority? You are rejecting the Lord. That's a serious, serious thing. Serious matter. Let read on, verse twelve to fourteen. So Moses replied, and then verse twelve, Moses sent to call、uh, Davim and Abiram, the sons of Elab. But here we called the、uh, attack, but they say we will not come up. Verse twelve, and verse thirteen, you set yourself like a prince. That you keep, keep acting like a prince. You want to rule over us, manage us. You have not fulfilled the promise. You have given us a land flowing with milk and honey. You think that you know you 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 put out the eyes of these men. We will not come up. There's Davim and Abiram. Their attitude, verse fifteen to nineteen. So people gather、uh, before the tent of meeting. So lo, Moses was angry and say, "Do not, we do not、uh, respect their offering." Verse fifteen. So they were accusing Moses that you know uh, uh, Moses was taking things from them, but Moses says, "I have not taken one donkey from them, not nor have I hurt one of them." So and then Moses says to Korah, "Tomorrow, you and your all your company be present before the Lord. You and they, as well as Aaron, and take censers. There's golden censers. So verse sixteen and seventeen. Why do they have the bronze? Um, this um, 
uh, sensor. Why do they have the bronze sensor? Bronze sensor, you carry this, carry it this way, <laughs> and you put incense in it, and then there, when you put fire in it, there will be like smoke coming up. That's what the priest should do. That's what the priest does. But here, the, the Levites got the censors as well. And the congregation, the 250 leaders also got it. Can you see it? Why only the priests were uh, allowed to do this? It's a mark to say that we are able to approach God, to draw close to God. Why only priests can do it? Why can't we have it? So you can see 250 people have their own sensors. That's a bronze sensor. They really think that they can approach God themselves. Moses and Aaron, you are not above us. We are of same, we are same position. So Moses said, okay, okay. You know, take let each take his censer and put incense in it, and we stand before the before God stand before the. So put the fire in it, and put the incense in it. Verse nineteen, and Korah guarded all the congregation against them at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. Then the glory of the Lord appeared to all the congregation. Due to the time, we are unable to go so such a uh, great depth. Uh, we, verse 20 to 24. So Moses uh, intercede for them. The glory of the Lord appeared to all the congregation to show that Moses and Aaron were right in what they said. Verse 23, so the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the congregation, get away from the tents of Korah, Daphim, and Abiram, because I will destroy them all. I want to destroy them all, because they rebel against me. So uh, Moses pleaded with them, and God just said, Get away from them, touch nothing of them. And from verse 25, to 35, there's the judgment upon uh, Korah. The earth, uh, the tent of meeting, the Levites outside, Korah's tent, and all his people, and then Reuben on the south side, Abiram, Dathan, and on on the south side, south side facing the tabernacle. So Moses called everyone, get away from their tents, get away, stay away, at least you'll be consumed. Put it a simple way. And the earth opened its mouth, split apart. This camp, the rebellious camp, was swallowed Alive. That's the judgment. And fire came down. Those who got the senses in their hand, they stay, they get away from the tents, but they always like they were like uh, watching what happened. The 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 earth also closed the mouth, and these two tents being swallowed alive. And fire came out and consumed the 250 men who were offering incense. Verse 35. As, and then we read on. Then the Lord said to them, like, um, pick up the senses out of the place, for they are holy. Verse 37. And scatter the fire. The senses of this man uh, be made into hammered plates as a covering for the altar. Verse 38. Verse 30 is important. 30. 
Then you understand that these men have rejected the Lord. These people swallowed by the ground, by the earth. Why? Why did that happen to them? Because they rejected the Lord. They rejected the Lord. Those who have the incense, a censer, they were not the priests. They were men of renown. They were leaders. They they consider themselves of the same position as the priest. Well, priest, you are doing this. Oh, so can I. God is among us. God is not just with you. And fire came out and swallowed them up, burned them, consumed them. And then you will be like a covering of the altar. In the future, when you look at the bronze altar. Even the duties of the priests and the Levites are decided by God. You are not to carry censers. Only the priests can have the censers and give fire. So the after effect of this, verse fourteen one to fifty, everyone witnessed that, right? They didn't. Uh, they didn't tremble in fear. Oh no! Oh no! We 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 believe God. They didn't. Oh wow! Oh God is not to be treated with this uh, contempt. They they complained. Oh yeah, Moses, you are like this. You are just like what Davim and、uh, Abiram. You have killed the people of the Lord. Verse forty one. They believe that you brought us up from the Egypt in order to kill us. So they gather together against Moses and Aaron, and suddenly the cloud covered it. Verse forty-two, and the glory of the Lord appeared. Verse forty-two, and the plague happened. So Moses said to Aaron straight away, verse forty six. Verse six thirty forty six. Take a censer and put fire in it from the altar. Put incense in it and take it quickly to the congregation and make atonement for them. For wrath have come out, has gone out from the Lord. The plague has begun. Moses said to Aaron, "Quick, quick, quick! Take your censer. No one else has sa-、uh, censers. Only the priest has the censers. Aaron, take your censer. Go into the、uh, holy of the holy before the golden altar, golden censer, and、uh, put fire in it. Put incense in it." And take it quickly to the whole camp, where the plague had broke out. So Aaron did it quickly, and he stood there and make atonement for the people. Verse forty-eight,、uh, verse forty-seven and forty-eight. So he put in the incense and make atonement for the people. Verse forty-eight, and he stood between the dead and the living, so the plague was stopped. As he returned to the camp, the plague had stopped. Verse fifty, verse fifty, and in total, fourteen thousand seven hundred died in the plague. Um, at the end, the reminder from God to us today: they reject God, they treat God with contempt. But men were not, you know, when they reject the Lord, the the, the earth opened its mouth, all the rebellious people were killed. But the people were not afraid; they were do do not revere the Lord, and that's why the plagues broke out. And one thing here. Verse chapter fourteen. Let's turn to Numbers. Verse、uh, chapter fourteen. 
Let's turn to Numbers chapter 14, verse 11 and 12. Then the Lord said to Moses, How long will these people reject me? Reject me here and reject the Lord here. Same word. And how long will they not believe me with all the signs which I have performed among them? I will strike them with the pestilence and disinherit them. Verse 23. None of us will, will see the land who reject me. If you reject me, you complain, you rebel, the deeper root of rebellion and complaint. Complain, envy higher position, discontent with what God has given you, arise and attack a leader. All these are their sins for sure, but the deep, deep root of this sin is they reject God and despise Him. They do not believe in God. And he say that God says that you do, you reject me, do not believe in me. How long? I want to strike them with the with the plague. Now we are on uh, Numbers chapter sixteen. Same word. Then you will know these people have rejected the Lord. Same word as in uh, Numbers chapter fourteen. But the the people did not humble themselves. They continue to grumble, to complain. That's why the plague uh, broke out. Do not reject God. Do not treat Him with contempt. That's what God will do. The judgment is frightening, deeply frightening. Today we are in the uh, plague. What should we do? The insights that are received. Moses said to Aaron, take your censer, verse 46, and go into the, uh, where the... Uh, stand between the dead and the living let the incense and the fire reach where the plague is and the plague stopped today we must arise and pray the census means prayer in, we pray in the church we pray in the church our co-worker the priest, with your own incense, uh, senses, go to different parts of Hong Kong, everywhere in Hong Kong, and our branch churches, uh, brothers and sisters, and co worker arise, have your uh, censor, and go to the different parts of your city, of your nation, and pray. and make atonement for the people. Day of Atonement is approaching. We must make atonement for the whole city. We, of course, all the precautionary measures must be in place. You know, do not go to a hospital, isolation ward, quarantine. Outside, throughout the whole city, that we walk and and pray. We need to pray a walk. May God help us. And we ourselves must pray that we do not reject the Lord. We pray for the whole world that they do not reject the Lord. Despise, treat with contempt, and provoke, provoke uh, God. You are God, show me. God can show himself to us. Oh yes, he will show him. The glory, his glory appeared. You will die straight away though. The earth opened up his mouth. May God help us. Do not reject the Lord. Despise him. Uh, brother and sisters serving and our co-workers, we must remember this lesson. Do not reject the Lord our God. Your God. Amen. May God bless us. That's the end of the message today.